So by now everyone should know that Akira Toriyama, the creator of Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z and all the franchise passed away earlier this month due to I believe what was called acute subdural hematoma which as it states here is a condition where a blood clot can happen between the skull and the brain. It's just unfortunate. Uh, he passed away at age 68 and this man it, it goes without saying he's a legend with the entire impact he's had not just the manga anime communities but like pop culture in general like you don't even have to be a dragon ball fan to know who goku is that's how recognizable goku as a character is throughout all countries and regions for me it, it, it goku was a huge part of dragon ball all of that was a huge part of my childhood growing up like growing up watching Toonami, watching every episode of Dragon Ball or picking up uh, the Shonen Jump from the groceries, reading the latest Toriyama stories because it wasn't just Dragon Ball. He had many different stories that would always appear that uh, it's just <sighs> like for me, my iconic moment was when Goku went Super Saiyan for the first time watching that on Toonami him giving that speech going up against Frieza the big bad first time bringing out this form like stuff like that sticks with you so so much and and the 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 idea of just standing up for justice that that connected with me as a kid and I grew up with that same thing with many kids who grew up watching Goku just constantly fighting and breaking their limits to get to the next stage of being stronger I, it's just I, i'll be lying to, if i said that i'd never practiced a kamehameha in front of a mirror i'm pretty sure every fan tried it once in their life like come on it's that iconic i it, it's and it's sad the old, the way i figured out that Akira Toriyama passed away was from just a random post on the Jujutsu Kaisen uh, subreddit. Uh, well, not the it, it was a joke subreddit, so I assumed oh it might be a joke meme. Um, it was not a joke meme. Uh, I, I started googling it, and yep, yeah, he actually did uh, pass away, and um, it just doesn't really ring with you, you know. Like you tend to forget that death. It's coming for everyone, and, and when it does, it's so uh, sudden, I guess. Like, it really makes you value life more, you know? Uh, but it also is sad that such an amazing talent just, just gone. But their inspiration, the people they've touched, that's still there. That will always be there. Case in point, the One Piece creator, Ichiro Oda, he wrote a letter after the passing of Akira Toriyama expressing how much he had an impact on his works. And we all know that Dragon Ball had a huge impact on the shonens that came after. One Piece, Bleach, Naruto, even Jujutsu Kaisen and My Hero, the latest ones. They all stem back to him. And in the letter he mentions how he was always looking up to him, him and Kishimoto, Kishimoto being the creator of Naruto. It's just... Yeah, I... Again, like, I'm just at a loss of words, like, this man was an inspiration, and he, he touched many people throughout the world. Like, uh, Mexico is a big example of this. Whenever the Dragon Ball Super fight was happening between Goku and Jiren, Jiren being like this main antagonist for like the whole tournament arc of the multiverse, uh, regardless, uh, it was being plastered everywhere as if it was an actual live boxing match. And um, people lined up. Uh, Goku's a big thing in Latin America. Like uh, they, they, they really love Goku, and I can't blame them. <laughs> but it got so bad that the Japanese government had to issue like a letter to the, the Mexican governor stating that hey, you can't uh, show like these last two episodes of Dragon Ball Super because it, it's illegal according to their uh, rights, the author rights. 
the fact that Dragon Ball became a diplomatic kind of issue is, um, <laughs> it's a big deal. It really is a big deal. And, um, like I said, uh, th this video originally was, surprisingly enough, I was going to make a video about talking about Goku and the drug cartels and how, how Goku has an impact, Dragon Ball has an impact in Latin America. Never thought that I would be talking about it with Akira Toriyama's passing. Uh, but yeah, Dragon Ball has such an impact that whenever a new episode apparently <laughs> shows up, uh, cartel activity drops a significant amount. We tend to not think about it, but yeah, there's a huge impact in Latin America with characters like Goku. Uh, I believe it's Goku, Master Chief, and Jesus. These three are very big in Latin America um that just shows you the the reach Dragon Ball Z had like I I remember seeing Goku uh being plastered and this is even in many Mexican restaurants like Goku being plastered on like shawarma or taco shops they, he's really beloved he's a cultural icon and then not just in Latin America many parts of the world they look up to this amazing inspirational character that's why when Dragon Ball Evolution was made it was a kick to the face of many fans that no that they ain't our goku goku isn't whiny he doesn't do the things that the the character in this strange movie was doing goku is this lovable goofball who just likes to fight and practice martial arts and yeah ju besides just dragon ball in general okira toriyama had many different stories that i i, I read growing up such as kawa which is the story about like these monsters in a cutesy kind of way just living their life dr slum which i believe is one of his firsts and that was more of a gag kind of comedy style manga which became an anime and that was a fun one as well blue dragon i remember that from the xbox 360 game uh that was fun i i wish it continued but sadly it was just a one-off thing and then of course there's sandland which is getting a video game i believe next month that one was, I think, second of my favorite of his works uh, after Dragon Ball. Uh, I just really like the whole uh, comedy aspect as well as the designs of his characters and demons in that one. Akira Toriyama was designing video game characters, the biggest being Dragon Quest. You could see that from a mile away. His art style is very iconic. Uh, I remember the first time I saw Dragon Quest, I was like, wait, is this associated with Dragon Ball? It's not, but... The, the designs, the art style, you could always tell that's a Kira Toriyama style. I mean, there's also like Chrono Trigger and other video games that Kira Toriyama worked on, but it's just the man would constantly push the envelope with what kind of entertainment, what kind of stories you could tell. Just by reading Dragon Ball by itself, you could see this goofy storytelling that just it inspires you know it wasn't just constant martial arts and fighting it's just character interactions and whatnot and going back to dragon ball evolution seeing that kind of soulless thing even he was disappointed it wasn't just the fans he was disappointed and he got straight to work writing a whole new anime movie which i believe was the one where he fights beerus i believe yeah I think it was the one where Goku fights Beerus and that just reignited the Dragon Ball love people had and that just went on to make Dragon Ball Super. Um, it just shows that he really was passionate about his work. He didn't, he could have just made Dragon Ball and retired and that that's it. No, he came back, he kept making, giving better and better stories. Uh, people are a bit critical about Dragon Ball Super but it's just Goku is a classic character that I see coming back again and again. Uh, he showed up in Fortnite. He has, he's in a Macy's parade. He's got his own float. This is a character that's up there with Mickey Mouse and Pac-Man, Pikachu, Mario. He's, it's going to be cemented for life within human culture. It's just, um, although we can't like collect Dragon Balls and bring Akira Toriyama back because that's not how it works in this world. We can also appreciate the fact that his impact, his work, his art will always be immortal. It will always be with us. Each and every one of the fans and each people who aren't even fans, they, they, they could at least recognize the impact that uh, Akira Toriyama had within each of these mediums. 
and it's sad. Uh, like I remember the creator of Yu-Gi-Oh passing away, and um, the creator of Berserk passing away in these last few years. And it's like it's the end of an era. Like um, these people made my childhood. Well. Not Berserk. I mean, God, I, I hope Berserk was not a part of anyone's childhood. I, I like the series, but really hope it's not part of anyone's childhood. That that's um, you don't want that. Uh, but yeah, the these people, these storytellers that made such iconic works, went on to inspire many things. Yu-Gi-Oh and uh, got me into like tabletops. Uh, Berserk got me into like uh, dark fantasy. Uh, Dragon Ball got me more into shonen. Like from Dragon Ball, I bounced into other shows on Toonami like Yu Yu Hakusho, Inuyasha, and then Naruto, Bleach, then just onwards to modern day uh, like Jujutsu Kaisen, One Punch Man, all these other ones. So, like, yeah, at the end of the day, it's just, it's the reality we have to live in that these legends are going to pass away. These people we look up to will pass away. Death comes for us all. But it's what we do within that time that they've passed away. But what are we going to do with what we learn from them? Continue. Make your own peace. Uh, embed it in your own life. Go through it like that. And I, I, I say that's the best way to honor people like these, these, these legendary uh, storytellers. And yeah, um, still, st it's hard to accept, but we'll, we'll get there. And that's all there is.